I have a question for you. What's something that tells you that the end of the summer is coming and that falls right around the corner? Give up? The opening of Spirit Halloween. And that's why we're here today. This location in Dixon City, Pennsylvania, officially opened today, August 11th for the 2018 season. So we're gonna head inside. I'm gonna give you a first look at what they have for this year. I'm not sure how much of the store is set up yet or if everything's in stock, but we'll find out once we're in there. If the store is not complete yet, I will be back for a return trip, but let's head inside and see what they have. So far, it looks like they have some new merchandise, but also some repeats, but not everything is set up here and not everything is working. So let's see what we can show as far as new stuff and uh, definitely be making a return trip back. But these are pretty cool. These are like, uh, like a thick, solid rubber. Hey there, friend. Welcome to the fun house. Come a little closer. We've got fun and games and high <laughs> I'll catch you next time. <laughs> He's actually supposed to lunge out of you like he's trying to grab you, but he's not working properly. So here we have your Nightmare Before Christmas corner. There's all kind of decorations and these full-size props. I think this one talks, or at least it did last year. But she looks pretty nice. This is a new setup back here. We got a few props. We got a girl on a rocking horse, and looks like a doghouse. Bubba. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good one. So we got a headless woman here. I don't know if she does anything. I do like the theming of this though with the black lights and the glow in the dark paint. <laughs> say that really caught me by surprise now the one good thing about this location this is a former furniture store so it has a very large layout area and display area but for this year they did rearrange it the setup inside the store is a bit different than previous years but a lot of the rooms are just designated for costumes if you want to be an inflatable dinosaur or sumo wrestler you can come here and get your costume I gotta say, so far it's a little bit disappointing. They don't have as many things as I was expecting. I know I've seen a couple of videos of other stores that opened so far for 2018, and they're pretty much fully operational. Everything's up and working. So this is a little bit of a lit down. They don't have many props right now, but we'll just have to come back in about a month and check it out again.
I have to say probably this girl in the rocking horse is one of my favorites and the uh, dog in the coop the big tall clown is a repeat from last year and the uh, new clown with the free hugs is just not working properly so hopefully they get some more new ones in so it looks like sitting scarecrow is a repeat from last year they're looking at $160 and Rocking Horse Dolly. And there's Man's Possessed Friend, Bubba. He's also 160. I do like this whole farm theme with the corn stalks and the windmill and everything. This girl's supposed to be hanging on a swing and be uh, swinging back and forth and she actually bends over backwards. So once that's up, that'd be a pretty cool one as well. Almost looks like Wednesday from uh, Adam's Family. I know one thing that's big with uh, kids this year is Fortnite, and they have their very own section coming soon. So you can be on the lookout for that. So they're still setting up. They have lots of things to hang on the walls, a lot of decorations, costumes, special effects. But you definitely have to come back and see how it looks when uh, everything's assembled and working properly. That girl on the swing is going to be my favorite one to show you. It, if I can find a clip of that online, I'll put it in the video now and share it with you guys. Yeah, it's a really cool animatronic. I see dead people, I see ghosts, I see the things that hate you the most. And if you're into Ouija boards and that type of thing, they have a whole section here with uh, doormats, a fleece. It's like a placemat, even ice cube trays. Okay, we're in luck. The gentleman here actually got this working, so we'll give it another try. You there! Do you want to play a game? If I catch you, then I catch the eat. Another cool addition they have is these Ghostbuster coats. This one says Dance Race Dance on call 24 7, serving all your supernatural elimination needs. And then back, who are you going to call? Those are pretty cool. You're going to get yourself a Ghostbusters hat, some Slimer socks, State Puff socks, and they're supposed to be having a uh, backpack that you can wear. I'm not sure if this is it. This is an inflatable. I think they're supposed to have like a hard shell one that you can wear. That's a pretty neat shirt. Big fan of Jason Voorhees. And just over here they have my costume that I've worn multiple times. A pumpkin suit which became famous from Tom Hanks playing David Pumpkins on Saturday Night Live. And if you're interested in decorating your house, they have some pathway markers that light up. They also have some skulls that have a strobe light effect, as well as some hanging lanterns coming from some disembodied arms. Here's everybody's favorite pal, Chucky. A spirit Halloween store isn't complete unless they have your traditional jumping spider. Remember when that first came out, that used to scare a lot of people. Sitting scare clown, that's very similar to the sitting scarecrow. You have a candy dish, and usually when you press on it, it'll kind of lunge forward at you. You also have a sitting scare witch and crawling dead. I think that's a girl that's on the ground, but they don't have her working yet. So hopefully they get that working for uh, the next trip. That also looks pretty neat too. Sinister Gothic Gargoyle. And the Forgotten Farmer. That's over there too. I forgot to show that. I'll show that before we leave. I think it's supposed to talk. And this doll, I think, is supposed to walk around on its own. Yeah, so this doll here is supposed to kind of crawl around on her hands and torso, but it's not operational right now, so maybe next time.
That's the one I was showing you up front. Nancy Molly, she's supposed to swing on the swing and then flop over backwards like that. So once they have that up, that's gonna be one of the better ones. Definitely resembles Wednesday from Adam's family, but she's gonna be one to look, to look for when you come to these stores. That was extremely loud. And for those of you that want to have your very own pulsable dummy, get yours right here. I think this one looks more terrifying than the other ones. Looks like a medical experiment dummy. Now these two look familiar. These look like the ones from the Haunted Mansion at Disney's Magic Kingdom. If you want to help fall asleep at night, just get these for yourself. Alright guys, that's your first look at the 2018 Spirit Halloween display. My thoughts, not too impressive so far. They do have a couple new items, the Hugging Clown, the Upside Down, Swinging Girl, I forget her name, and that Barking Dog are going to be probably the top items for this year. The Rocking Girl wasn't too bad either, but a lot of repeats in there, a lot of old stuff. It just doesn't seem like there's as many animatronics as usual, but maybe they'll add more in the future, so we'll do a return trip in about a month from now and see if anything has changed. If you do want to check out this store, this is located in Dixon City, right across from Sam's Club. And it's a great location, lots of space in there, a lot of costumes. And it's one of the better, better stores in the area that they have. I already picked out my costume for this year, so when we get closer to Halloween, I'll let you know what that is. But in the meantime, don't forget to drop a like on the video. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, ring that notification bell, that way you don't miss any future uploads. And lastly, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.